Hey what's up, how's everybody doing? I'm back for a short video and today I'll be going over the AABB Colt engraved receiver set for the Western Arms M4 gas blowback rifle. Here's the packaging, pretty plain as you can see. Now on to the contents. Here we have a high density foam lid, receiver set in bubble wrap, and your trigger guard. AABB decided to include a nicely made Knights Armament Company style trigger guard and this is what you will be seeing on your SR-15s and SR-16 rifles. Not my favorite but luckily I have a standard trigger guard that I'll be installing. Now, on to the main piece. Here's the receiver and just to begin, it's GMP. It's a clone of the GMP, 100%. That means that the re upper receiver threads are proprietary and the receiver extension threading is real steel. Now, both the upper and lower are painted. It's not anodized, it's just painted, which seems to be good quality paint. And both the upper and lower as well they're made from a, an aluminum casting and here you go it, it has no receiver rib there's no rib present like the inakatsu and and whatnot and everything looks good now the trademarks here you can see the colt trademarks property of u.s government m4a1 carbine caliber 5.56 millimeter and your serial number. Now, on top of the trigger group components, you have Colts Manufacturing Company Incorporated, Hartford, Connecticut, USA. Your safe semi and auto, and you also have safe semi and auto on the reaction side of the receiver. Now, on top of the upper receiver rail, you have even numbered markings T2 through T12 also present on the real thing so this receiver is pretty much accurate to the real uh, Colt factory carvings and just like the GMP version it has the bolt stop hole and everything seems well now I have three minor things that I don't like but I can live with perfectly um, one of them is some of the some you you will have some file marks on the receiver as somebody at the factory took off material with a file so you have small tool marks which I don't mind but some of you will also the pivot pin on the receiver can be taken out all the way. This is because there's a, a full channel instead of a partial channel that prevents it from getting out of the lower receiver. Just make sure to not pull it out all the way and you'll be fine. Now, take down pin is fine. And here you have the insides. This receiver is made to Western Arms specification which means that there are no there are no keyway notches for the charging handle and it will only accept uh, Western Arms spec uh, bolt carriers this receiver is not one to one in length to the real thing like the Inokatsu in the Prime just a heads up it is shorter by about five millimeters at the rear. So there you have it. Pretty much empty. Comes with nothing but the trigger guard, the takedown pin, and the pivot pin. Those are those are the only things that are included. Also, my last problem is that it has a bit of wobble, as you can see. 
there's not a big gap but there's just wobble between the upper and lower no problem as I will take care of it but just letting you guys know it's fixable definitely whether you get a, a magic pin or a AccuWedge or something at the rear it's fixable no big deal I got it. also GHK magazines are tight inside the magwell just like with the original GMP bodies the GHKs do not fit well inside you will have to sand them and there you have it your basic overview of this receiver set pretty nice uh, if you definitely want a very high quality body go for the Prime or the Inokatsu this will do for me as you can see no biggie it will still get beat up on the field so I don't mind also uh, it's missing the CA or the markings that you would usually see up top right above the forward assist so that's one thing that if it would have those markings up top then it would be a perfect replica of the real thing trademarks wise so here you have it I'll be filling it up soon with internals when they arrive and I'll keep you guys updated feel free to ask any questions I'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching guys have a nice day